Hey you guys, so I'm starting this vlog at night. I'm starting to kind of lay out everything that I want to pack. So in this video, we're going to be doing kind of like the whole preparation for my trip. Today is Tuesday night. I don't leave until Thursday, but I like to do things kind of in advance. So I laid out all of my clothes and I kind of want to just like walk you through it. I still do have a couple things that I need to like sort in there, but as for the most part, this is everything. And it is making me so happy to look at because you guys know I love wearing colors. And I literally have like an explosion of color here and I am so happy about it. A lot of these are bikinis, so like one, two, three, four. I have those, so it's like it's taking up space, but they're just bikinis. I have shorts, I have one, two, three pair of heels just in case. This is kind of my color palette for the trip, like orange, pink. Um, I would say blue. I mean, um, I don't even really have a color palette. It's just all the colors. I pulled together a ton of things that I already owned and was just like really drawn to. This is kind of what started it. This pink bikini that I've had since last year and I wanted to wear it. And it goes perfectly with this pink button down for like a little monochromatic look. So with pink, I started just throwing everything together. I knew I wanted to bring my shoes that I bought myself for Christmas and they are orange. So I kind of wanted to play off of that. And I just kind of went nuts, pulling out everything that I have that's colorful. I have some neutral pieces here, uh, my linen pants. I have a white blouse, um, a linen button down just in case. Um, and then I have a black dress for a dinner and my uh, nude colored hat. But yeah, that's kind of what I have going on. I already did my nails. I did a classic French just to be simple. I am kind of just preparing everything. Like I have like my gooseberry little baggies i have a lot of gooseberry bikinis it is one of my favorite bikini brands and they come in these little pouches so i'm kind of just using the pouches to pack all my stuff but i wanted to lay everything out that i had i don't i know i'm probably crazy but i don't try on outfits before an occasion i really don't know why either like there's no real reason for it. it's not because i want excitement or anything i just I never try on outfits and I don't know if it's because of the way that I pack. I don't pack like based on outfit. I pack what I know I want to bring and want to wear and I make outfits with that stuff, which I know some people will probably be like, oh my God, you're out of your mind because a lot of people like to plan their outfits, which I completely get. Like I, I understand that logic. I just, my mood can change from day to day and one day I might want to wear shorts and the next day I'll be like I actually don't want to wear those shorts uh, shorts. I want to wear linen pants So instead of doing outfits I just bring items that I want to wear and my closet for the most part even though I have tons of colors and a lot of people will say this for like Creating your wardrobe with like a color palette. I do not have a color palette. My color palette is all the colors So I can pretty much mix and match everything. I'm also bringing two black one pieces and the only reason i'm bringing these is because i'm getting my period while i'm on the trip um so if all else fails if my period happens to be super heavy and i'm just not comfortable wearing either a light piece bathing suit or a two-piece bikini if i'm feeling just like bloated or whatever i brought two options of black just so i don't have to worry about you know if i leak and like one of the days we're going to be on the boat the day that i get my period we're going to be on the boat so like i don't want to have to worry about leaking and being in a light colored bathing suit and any of that stuff so i'm bringing two safety options just to have and then i'm bringing this bikini that i also have from um abercrombie i bought this last year i don't think i ever wore it it's like a peach tie-dye super cute and i'm just bringing it as an extra option um, we're only gonna be there for three days, so it's not like I'm, I need this many outfits. It's just again I don't I'm so sporadic when I get dressed. I don't really ever plan What I'm gonna wear so I don't like to base each day specific to what I'm going to wear because one day it might change I don't know All right, you guys on to the packing portion content preparing for this trip Here's a hot pink little skirt that I bought. I ordered this on Amazon, wanting it for a long time, and I couldn't find it anywhere else but Amazon. I have to steam it, but it has like some lace right here, and it's this cute little satin hot pink skirt, right? I can wear this with this little crop. I can wear it with the crinkle crop, the crinkle shirt. I can wear this with this hot pink button up and make like a little monochromatic look. So I am, I am just personally a fan of bringing things that I know I want to wear and then just making sure I have things to pair with them. Also things that I can wear tons of different ways. I have one, two, three, 
for five button ups. And why is that? Because all these button ups are going to be my bikini cover ups. I have a different color for basically every bathing suit. I have a hot pink, I have an orange, I have a purple, I have a white, and I have a colorful one. All of these button ups can be worn for my bathing suit cover ups. But at night, if I'm like, you know what, I don't want to wear this tight shirt, I want to wear a loose button up, I can also use that in the in the the mixture. Another thing that I am bringing is these water shoes right here because we are doing el Junque, which is the rainforest in Puerto Rico. I will leave these for you guys linked down below. They are so comfortable and the grip is insane. They kind of look like little feet on the bottom, but they're really, really cute on the foot. Um, so I got these again on Amazon. They were like 25 bucks, really, really affordable. So I am packing these with me. Um, and then I have all of my bikinis in these little gooseberry bags. My lack of color Palma Fedora. I bring this to every tropical vacation I go on because I love it. I will leave it to link down below for you guys. I am also bringing my little Giacomo bucket hat. Um, I bought this in the last clothing haul that I did and I haven't worn it and I'm going to be wearing this all spring and summer. So it's khaki. Again, it's like a beige color. I can wear this with every single bikini. I can wear this out at night if we're going to like a more casual thing. So this is definitely coming with me as well. For a bag, I'm going to bring one more bag, probably something really casual and like just for like the beach and stuff like that but i bought this cute little clutch from amazon i had actually sourced this for someone that i am styling for her bachelorette and i kept looking whew, it smells it smells like nail salon i kept looking for myself i kept saying that i wanted to get a bag that matched my hot pink um gucci heels every single time i wear those heels i never have a bag because i don't have anything that's really any shade of pink so while I was looking, I was like, let me see if I can find a pink, like a really cute pink clutch. And I found this. The girl that I'm styling happens to also be taking a pair of hot pink shoes and she bought a pair of orange heels as well. So as I was sourcing, I was like, oh my God, this bag literally matches. Like guys, look at this. Almost everything that I'm bringing is around this color story. So this is a clutch. You can carry it like that. And there's also a, a chain that goes in there so you can carry it over your shoulder or whatever but i'm not someone that carries a lot of stuff in my purses it's usually a wallet a lip gloss and my phone that's really it so i was like this is perfect so this bag for the most part will be worn with every single outfit because i intended to take hot pink i don't know i've just been because of this uh button down i have been wearing hot pink a lot like i've just been really really drawn to it and i also have a hot pink bikini that i packed because I've been waiting to wear that bathing suit and this is the first tropical trip that I've gone on, this one. So this bathing suit right here kind of inspired my entire color story for this trip because I bought this <coughs> I bought this last year and I never used it. So I was like, you know what, I'm gonna wear hot pink and then I bought a hot pink button up and hot pink pants in my last haul and I was like, oh my God, like I'm really gravitating towards hot pink and I just keep wearing it. So that's why I'm bringing that. All of my shoes are in their proper dust bags. I keep all of my shoes in my dust bags when I travel. I have my Oran, Oran, Oran sandals here. I have my Attico heels, which also just flow with this entire vibe, the hot orange. I have my Chloe slides that are baby pink that also go with almost everything in my luggage. I have my Cinderella shoes, the glass slippers, Amina Muwadi. These go with everything always, so I always bring them wherever I go because they can never do me wrong. And then I have my nude Jonatinas, which let me pull them out. I took these with me to Puerto Rico last time I went to. They're just a nude single strap heel, which is always safe to have. Three pairs of heels, and then I will be wearing sneakers there, using the sneakers whenever we I need sneakers. And then on top of that, I also have my <clears throat> like toiletry bag, which one of my best friends got me this to complete my set with uh, my luggage. My luggage is right here. I have the bays. this is the carry-on, and then she got me this, and she also got me the makeup pouch, which I'm going to fill probably tomorrow. So inside of this bag, it opens up into three compartments, and you can basically just hang it on the back of your bathroom door. So I have toothpaste, a travel size um, mouthwash, and then in this black bag, I have um, floss. In here is like all my shower stuff, lotion, hairspray, um, body wash, dry shampoo, all that. And then down here I have a hand cream, a lint roller, I have 
Q-tip, sunscreen, hand sanitizer, a shout pen. So here we have our luggage. Sorry, you guys are on a chair. I apologize. Here we have our luggage. It has two pretty deep compartments in here. I went to Europe for 11, no, 14 days in just this. So I can fit everything in here. I do the rolling technique. That's just what works for me. So I am literally going to put the bulkier things in first, which is how I usually work. The only thing that I have to grab are my underwear and pajamas, basically. And I will link every anything that I can link, I will link down for you guys. I'll link the luggage, I'll link um, the water shoes, anything that's in here from Amazon. This is the one of the dresses that I'm gonna wear. This was my New Year's dress like two years ago, so I'm gonna bring it for a possible dinner outfit. I have a scarf, which I can go over here. And then it's shoes. So I have my water shoes, my sandals. Go right on top, Chloe's. My Hermes, Attico, Amina's. Then I have the clutch, the bucket hats. Here we are, we are packed. And I have everything in here. So this is. Show, shoes and accessories for the most part and bikinis and then all my clothes and look at Oliver. He's like, where are we going? This also comes with like a Like a little bag and there should be another one that's like for laundry So I'm gonna put this in here for just like dirty clothes and then this also goes on top of here And you put your underwear and stuff like that. So I am pretty much all packed up now what I need to do is shower I have to Give myself a Brazilian touch-up wax situation, which I will not be showing you for obvious reasons. And then I didn't cure one of my nails properly, so it started peeling. I need to redo it and fix it. So next up is fixing my nail. And I know that you guys want me to show you how to do, how I do my nails. And the reason that I never answer or never do the video is because I've told you guys before, I don't really know what I'm doing. As you can see, my nail popped off. So I am not going to create a video showing you how to do something that I don't really know how to do. I recommend looking for people on YouTube who that is the type of content that they put out or TikTok or whatever. I don't know what I'm doing. I've only done this like twice now, so I don't have tips and tricks and things to recommend you. And I am also not the type of person that's just going to BS for the sake of making a video. Like, I don't know what I'm doing, you guys. Like, I'm not gonna sit there and be like, oh, this is what I'm doing, so this is what you should do. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm not a professional. I did not go to nail tech school. I learned nails when I was in cosmetology school, but my cosmetology school did not at all specialize in like acrylic or using a drill or anything like that. So that is why I keep avoiding making that video. There are probably hundreds of thousands of Nail techs are people on the internet that know what they're doing and can show you Way better than I ever could so I'm just gonna do my nails really quick Like I said, I am not walking through anything. I'm just going to speed it up so you guys can see that this is what I'm doing before jumping in the shower So now I've done both of the nails and this product and what I'm doing is called Builder Gel or Builder in a Bottle. I would say look it up on all platforms because that's what I did and that's what I've kind of tried to do to learn. And as you can see, I did a French on my nails. So I'm using this tiny, tiny, tiny little brush that I got in a set on Amazon. It came with like a whole bunch of brushes and tools and I'm just using this tiny brush to basically do the French.
Okay, so nails are done, they're fixed. Cool. So now I'm gonna I'm gonna jump in the shower because I need to do this flamingo pubic hair wax kit right here. I have never used anything like this in my life. I am a Brazilian wax girl. I have been for years, very, very long time, probably like six years. So I don't shave or anything like that. And this is basically to clean up. I mentioned it in my last vlog, but I don't have enough hair for an actual like full wax. All right, so I am showered, moisturized my skin. So I think it's time now. Kind of nervous, not gonna lie. Let's see what we're gonna do. I wanna do it like sitting here in my room on my bed because I don't know, something about it seems comforting, but. Ready to use wax strips in shapes and styles. Sa shapes and sizes for every style. There's post wax cloths and easy to follow instructions. Gynecologists and dermatologists tested free of artificial dyes or fragrances. This product is not tested on animals. I don't really care about the positions. I be in every position when my girl waxes me, so I don't even care, to be honest. It says not recommended for use immediately after a shower or bath as skin may be more sensitive. Wait for skin to fully dry. So I'm gonna have to give it a second for my skin to dry. Avoid contact with eyes, do not ingest. Do not use if you're on retinoids, Pro product may cause bruising in pregnant women. Do not sunbathe, use deodorants or any other alcohol-based product products after waxing. This kit was designed to remove hair from your bikini line and mons pubis. It's not meant for use to be on your labia or other internal areas. Okay, so this is essentially not for your full area. Okay, so you're basically not supposed to get inside, which when you get waxed, they're in there all over. You're basically supposed to do this, the surface, like, you know, the surface. So we are done. Way easier than I thought it was gonna be. So simple. I have three wax strips left. So I'm just gonna put them in the box and if um, I see any stragglers tomorrow before we leave, I'll just use them. But it was very, very simple. I definitely recommend it. This does not replace getting a full Brazilian because it says just like keep that to the professionals, which I totally agree. I look crazy because of this bun on my head, but I just finished um, cleaning my nipple covers. I think this is gonna be the last time I use them before I get a new pair, because I've had them for like a long time. Um, and I'm making myself some lunch really quick. We had leftover chicken, so I'm going to make a very simple pasta. One, one of the best hacks that I have learned from my sister is whenever you're making pasta, if you want like a creamy sauce, that's like on the, I would say like on the healthier side, put your red sauce or whatever, you know, marinara, which is what I usually use a marinara, or like a tomato basil sauce, and then use a cheese wedge. So like one of these. You guys know I love these. So these are little triangles of cheese. This one specifically is creamy pepper jack. So this is what it looks like. One of these is 30 calories. So when you take this and if you mix it into your pasta sauce with a splash of pasta water, it makes the creamiest, most delicious sauce. Like literally one of my favorite hacks that she's ever like put me onto. So that is what I'm going to do with some chicken. I have three pieces of, sh of chicken breast here and I'm gonna make that. I'm boiling up this pasta right here that I got from Trader Joe's. It's an organic vegetable pasta. I have a little bit left. I'll probably only make, yeah, this will be way, I can't, can't make this whole thing, this will be way too much. Put, I'll make a little bit of this. Chicken, sauce, one of these cheese cubes, and then I add seasoning and all that, and it is so good. I'm actually going to prep food for Tyler while I'm gone. I'm gonna make like a big pot of rice, I'm gonna make a thing of beans, and I'm gonna make chicken. And I'm literally just going to separate that into three Tupperwares, and he can eat that three nights in a row. Rice, chicken, beans. Easy, because he is the type that he either won't eat or he'll eat fast food every day. And I'm like, no, you're not gonna do that. We're gonna keep you nice and maintained because I'm going on vacation while you're stuck at home with this house situation. So I'm like, no, I'll take care of him and make a couple meals. I might even make like a couple different meals. The only thing is, is that he is really weird about leftovers. Like he will only really eat Spanish food leftovers. So I was thinking of either doing like two meals of white rice, two meals of yellow rice, 
something like that with some chicken grilled chicken with barbecue sauce I'm probably going to do that tomorrow morning tomorrow the only things that I have to do is edit the footage that you guys are seeing today send it over for approval get everything ready flight is I think at 7 but I have clear and pre-check so I can get to the airport like 30 minutes before boarding and be fine I'm probably gonna get there like an hour before just so I can meet up with the girls and stuff I might even go into the lounge because I have you get that with your Amex like lounge access so I don't know I'm already packed I'm going to pack my um my toiletries and all that today the only thing that I need to hold off on is my face wash hey you guys so it's a couple hours later you can see it's dark outside um we just got back from like a three mile walk with the dog closing my blinds because there's always people on the street um and i'm about to pack up my last little bit of things i have a little glass of red wine um, and then after I'm done, I'm gonna make dinner. So I have pretty much all of my underwear. I'm only going for three nights, but because I'm gonna be on my period, I'm bringing, I always bring too many underwear. It'll be two nights and I'll bring like 12 pairs of underwear because you just never know. All different styles. I have just regular bikini style panties. I have full on granny panties for my period. I have, these are like shaping ones, really good to wear under dresses. It's a thong. It comes in a two pack. These are amazing. Um, I get these on Amazon. I'll leave these linked down below. Then I have like black little shorts for if anything I'm wearing is too short and I need like some underneath and I also have them in cream like a nude and then I just have underwear. I have one thong in case I need it. That's really it. So this is my makeup bag from home. I'm not taking this. I'm going to empty this into my travel bag. I have my Tymo charging my Porta um, and then for skincare I am going to take should we take this Biosance? I'm gonna take this little, I love anytime I redeem my points at Sephora for perks, like 100 point perks, I always get skincare or travel size stuff because this is perfect for when I travel. I don't have to take this huge thing, I can take this. So I'm going to take this, my, my soy face cleanser, which this I'm gonna pack tomorrow. I'm gonna bring this loofah, oh no. There's um like an oil on it. I'm gonna bring that though. I've never used it, so it's perfect. I'm gonna grab a new razor just to take so I don't bring my other one. Tangle teaser, which I need to use that tomorrow, so I'm not gonna pull it out. And then I'm gonna bring my sponge, which that's an obvious. Oh, I need to pick my fragrance that I'm gonna wear for the trip. And I always like to just use one perfume for a vacation because then afterwards it just reminds me of that vacation. It's gonna be hot and I don't have a lot of like hot weather perfumes. Actually, I have travel size. Again, always why I use my little travel sizes. I will hoard them, but then when it comes time to vacation, I have this little thing of perfumes. I have Versace. I have Prada Candy, which I don't think I like that one. I have a little Burberry Her, Sol de Janeiro. All I need to do is pack my sunglasses. So I'm going to take my Ray-Bans. These are going to be like my everyday sunglasses. I'm only going to take the bags because that's just way too much space that these are going to take up. These are my 2000s from Desi. Love these. These are very J-Lo in the 2000s, like J-Lo in Miami. And then I have, I don't remember what these are called, but they're the tortoise, like a nude tortoise. I'm 99.9% .9 sure that none of my makeup is gonna match me. I already know myself. I know what happens when I go to Puerto Rico. Really, when I go to any island, I'm gonna get dark. I already know it. So I'm definitely going to bring like brow product and all that, but I'm not going to pack this until tomorrow. So I have this bag, which also comes with, it doesn't come. It matches my luggage. Um, my friend Imani got me this one to go with the other one that she got me. And it is nice and deep and carries everything. Like it's bomb. 
So I'm gonna put like my razor in here. I'm gonna put my little moisturizer in there. I'm gonna put my little oil in here and then it has like a little spot for your toothbrush and then this bottom part also comes apart so I put my makeup brushes down there. I think I am good. Like I have everything packed. I just have to pack my nippies, my nipple covers. I have them drying because I washed them a little while ago and my hair tools and I am good to go. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I will leave everything linked down below that I told you guys I would. Um, and I will see you guys 15 shades darker and back from Puerto Rico.